guys, Kat here. Today we have a full body dumbbell hit. So I'll be using a set of light dumbbells and a set of heavy dumbbells. The lighter ones are gonna be for cardio and shoulder work, and the heavy ones are gonna be for, you know, like building muscle and all that jazz. Remember to go at your own pace. We will be doing cardio strength and abs today, so it's everything, which is awesome. And then each exercise today is gonna be 40 seconds on with 10 seconds rest. All right, let's get started. Roar. All right, let's warm up nice and easy. You know, weak jumping jacks. So touch the hands at the top. Jump the feet out wide, and keep it going. Ah, oh, yeah. It's good to be back. I was in Europe for two weeks, and that was really fun. And yeah, lots of gelato. All right, three, two, one, and butt kicks. Get those booties kicking. Nice job, guys. And remember, don't go like this. You want to really bring those feet up. Get those heels touching that booty. Three, two, one. All right, let's have those legs a little bit wider than hip width. And you're going to go side to side. Stay down low. This is a nice little stretch, but with movement. Because you don't want to start out with those static stretches. No bueno. No bueno. Nice job. Do you ever look at your legs and you're like, huh? I don't know where I got that bruise. It's like me every day. Three, two, one, and bounce it out. All right, so nice and easy, crisscross those arms. Whoo, again, nice little chest stretch too. So make sure you squeeze your back every time you pull those arms back. Three, two, one, and go ahead, bounce it out, or you can just stay stable and arm circles forward. Nice and small. Nothing too crazy. Nice job. Almost there. Let's go for three, two, and bring it back. Bring it up. Ba, 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 ba. Ooh, three, two, one. That required a little bit more thinking. All right, so we're going to bring up our left knee, and then you're going to cross over. So opposites. Exhale, really. Drive that knee all the way to that elbow. Exhale. Keep going. Let's go two more. Last one. And let's go ahead and stretch out the hamstrings a little bit with movement. Get those Frankenstein. So arms out. Or zombies. Walking dead walkers. Whatever you want to call this move, just do it. Yeah. Keep it kicking. Nice job. Pew. La, la, la. I feel like I'm doing a dance. Almost there. Kick it a little bit higher for these last two. Pew. Last one. It's always meant to be a cheerleader. Just kidding. All right, bounce it out. We're going to do one more set of jumping jacks. One in front, one in the side. And we'll get started. Keep it going, guys. And we're going to grab those dumbbells and build that muscle. Almost there. Let's go for three. Two, one, and let's get started. All right, guys, 10 seconds. Go ahead, grab the heavier set. If you only have one pair of dumbbells, no big deal. Do whatever you have. All right, so palms facing out, shoulder blades rolled back and down. We're going to curl, squeeze, and then slowly come down. Four, three, two, one. That's it. So make sure you're squeezing your biceps as hard as you can. You want to get the most out of this movement. You can make it super easy, or you can make it super effective. And we want to get that whole Pokemon battle super effective effect to it. <laughs> so keep it going. Squeeze. Slowly come down. Nice and easy. Nice job. Ten seconds. Exhale. Inhale. Slowly come down. It's about four seconds, right? A little bit faster. <laughs> four, three, two, one. Nice job. All right. Now we got bicep curl jacks. So really bringing out those biceps. You're going to be jumping out your feet as you curl. Okay, so curl. That's it. Oh, this is this is fun. What was I thinking? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Keep it going. Take it slow. Now, if this is too much, you can always tap it. Curl and tap, or you can keep it alternating. Whatever you have, make sure you exhale up. Oh, wow. This is fun. <laughs> Keep curling. Ah! 
Just burning it out. No big deal. Whew. It's hot. Okay, front squat. So uh, go ahead, grab the heavier weights. Have those dumbbells in front. Front squat, press and kick. So squat down, press up and kick. That's it. Squat down, press and kick. Turn your palms facing out when you um, press up. Now, if you want to, you can always take the press out or um, you can always keep the press but take the kick out. It's gonna make it a little bit easier for the stability. Keep it going. And kick. And back. And stick it down. After this, we have a cardio move because they're fun. <laughs> Actually, without dumbbells. So, we have a lunge squat to lunge. If you can, you're gonna jump these out. If you can't, no big deal. You're just gonna walk them out. So, lunge, squat, lunge. I like to tap in the middle. Honestly, it helps me to reset and make sure I have the form down because that's what's most important. Really burning out those legs. Try to keep your knee off the ground. Squat, lunge, squat, lunge. Keep it going, guys. 10 seconds. Ah, oh, yeah. It's crazy what two weeks off of working out does. <laughs> well, believe me, I was walking. All right. Next up, single arm squat touchdown. So we need one leg dumbbell. We alternate. So start with the feet together. You're gonna touch down, come up, press up, switch. Touch down, press up, switch. This takes coordination, I'm not gonna lie. So sink down, then as you press up, jump your feet out, then bring it back. Some people get this down right away, some people they might need to rewind it, and that's okay. As long as you keep trying, the only way you're going to get good coordination is if you, you try. Whew. All right. Tricep kickbacks. I'm not using a lot of weight for this one. You really don't need to. Get in a chair pose. Feet are close together. Elbows up high. Squeeze. Bring it back. Neck is neutral. So you don't want to be craned up like this. We're down like this. Nice little in-between, look at a spot in front. And really just concentrate on squeezing your triceps. Hold it for that second. And then bring it back. Keep going. 10 seconds. Almost there. Then the fun next. Three, two, one, all right, so a little bit of shoulder work, cardio, chest work. We're gonna start with a push up, then we're gonna do a nice kick out. So get in that push up position, push up, turn, kick out that bottom leg, turn it back. Push up, turn, kick that leg all the way up to the ceiling. Make sure you kick up towards the ceiling. Try to get that full rotation. Keep it going. And turn, and kick, and back. Now we're dancing. Now we're break dancing. Now if you can't do that full turn, just do a nice little kick under. A little twist for your abs. Three, two, one. Whew. Okay, so next up, we are gonna grab the lighter weights. Yes we are. <laughs> All right, we got side shuffle. So two side shuffles, stay down low. One, two, high knees for 10. Nine, 10. So make sure you lead with your outside leg. One, two, six, seven, 10. If you want to, you can pop your arms when you do those high knees. As if your arms didn't get enough already. Keep it up. Two, ten seconds. Nine, ten. Almost there. 
One, two. Oh, okay. Next up, single leg deadlift with a fly. I'll use light weights again. Just for that fly. So, stay with on one leg. You can bend the knee slightly. Sink it. Stretching out that hamstring. Come up halfway. Fly. Sink it down. Come up. Fly. Sorry, that first one was kind of messy. You should feel this in your hamstrings. When you sink down, come back up. Try not to have a curl around this in your back when you sink down. You want to have a nice flat back. So, sink down, come up, fly, almost there. Three, two, woo! Okay, maybe the other side. Aw, yeah, gotta be even. I don't need walking funny. None of that business. So stabilize on the other leg. Now, one leg might be tougher. So don't beat yourself up. It's a little bit tougher on one side. Stay stabilized Whoop, as much as possible. See, even I need to reset, and that's okay. Don't beat yourself up, no big deal. Beating yourself up, it's gonna get you nowhere. Ah. We go, we go, we go, we go. One more good one. Struggling today. And down. All right, 10 seconds. We're doing a burpee with a surfer. Cardio, yay. Okay, so start with that burpee. Soon. Okay, okay, now. So, jump down. Up, surf it. So, a surfer is just a little bit wider than a squat. And you want to bring out your arms like this, because you want to pretend you're on a surfboard. Because why not? And there's that dog again. Oh, that's my favorite. <laughs> Sorry about that. Keep it going. You guys are over halfway. Keep surfing with me. Done. Ah, fine. Okay, next up, we're really gonna get those triceps. So, we're gonna come into a chaturanga. This is from yoga. So, hands right on the shoulders. Bring your weight forward a little bit. Sink down, hold. One, two, press it up. Okay, so, lean forward a little bit. Sink it down. One, two, press. If this is too much, come down to the knees. Hover forward and then press it back up, okay? That's totally fine. Again, hug your ribs, and then bring it back. Let's see. One, two. Woo! Make sure your core is strong. We don't want your lower back to dip. Press. Those triceps. Oh, that's so fun. Okay, next up, side raise with a surrender. So grab those light weights. Shoulder work. You're gonna bring it to the side. Down, down, up, up, and down. Now, you can switch legs. Up. And if this is too intense for you, go ahead. Side raise, and then do a surrender. Okay? So you just have to split it up a little bit. And that's it. <laughs> that's not so bad. Up, down, down, up, up, and down. Bring it up. It's super hot in here. I like it. It's nice. Okay, so next up, frog hop with a plank jack. Have your feet, toes facing out. Keep your chest up. We're going forward. Forward, come to plank, plank jack. Come back up, turn. If you don't have the room for this, just do a frog hop in place, jump down, and then do the plank jack. Totally fine. Woo! Don't stop yourself from flying. Fly. Woo! Keep it going. That's just fun. Sink it. Use your arms. And turn. 
Almost there. Oh, yeah. So fun. Yes, I make animal noises. All right, roll back. Two half burpees. Ha. If you can't do a roll back, I want you to do a squat jump. So, roll back. Come up. Half burpee. Woo! Half burpee. Yeah, I'm still getting my own sweat. Okay. Oh, I'm disoriented. Okay, so, yep. Roll back. Come up. Half burpee. Half burpee. It totally was my own sweat. <laughs> Roll back. Come up. Half burpee. Half burpee. That's so fun. <laughs> I really like these rollbacks. Okay, single arm front raise to T arm. So, again, grab lighter weights for shoulder work. Keep your core strong. So, front raise, T arm, back, down. We're alternating. T arm, and down. So fun. You guys are doing great. We're over halfway already. So, stay with me, and before you know it, We'll be at the cool down. Just stay with me. Working unilaterally like this is awesome for balance and just really concentrating on that side. Getting that squeeze. All right, next up is hook skaters. You can use weights for this one. Um, and there are also a few options where you can concentrate more on cardio or abs. So let's do cardio first. Hook, oh sorry, hook, this, hook, hook. So if you're hooking to the right, you have, you're doing skating to the left, so it's the opposites. Now if you wanna make it more um, abs, take a step and twist. You'll feel that all across your core. You can totally follow me and do both of them half and half. We're like milk over here. We're like coffee creamer. <laughs> Keep going. Again, you can totally add weights if you want to. You leave a friend's mind. Okay, crossover curls is next. Um, for this one, really cast around the squeeze. I'm using heavy weights for this one. Roll your shoulder blades back and down. Crossover, squeeze. Again, you can make this super easy or super effective. So squeeze your biceps hard as you can. And then look at them. And you're like, hey, I see you. And they're like, hey, I see you back. <laughs> Great conversation. Keep it squeezing. Almost there, guys. After this, we're gonna work full body. How exciting. <laughs> Squeeze as hard as you can. Three, two, one. Ooh, I need water. Don't forget, hydrates. Very, very important. So, next up, we have a lunge with an Arnold press. We'll be alternating legs. Keep your dumbbells, palms facing towards you. You're going to lunge in here, press it up, bring it back, and switch. So, sink down, Arnold press, back. So, notice how I bring those dumbbells out and around. Out and around, back and around. Keep it nice and controlled. Make sure your spine isn't hyperextending, so you don't want this. Okay, keep your core strong, so your torso is straight. You gotta protect that body. And if you want to, you can always do the Arnold press up here instead. Sink it. Press. Back. And back. All right. Next up, curtsy lunge with a hop. I'm gonna grab lighter weights for this one. You can do whatever you want. Okay, so bring your legs inside as far as possible. Curtsy, come back, jump. Curtsy, chest facing towards me, and jump. So make sure you're not facing this way. This way, um, really work those glutes. Okay, so keep your chest facing towards me. Hop. Sit it down, hop it up. Almost there, guys. Sit it down. Up. So fun. <laughs> so much fun. Almost there. I keep saying that. 
it's a thing. Three, two, one. All right, 10 seconds. We have dumbbell side dips. Now, I'm gonna use the heavier weights. You go ahead, do whatever you need to. I'm gonna plank on these, but you can have your hands to the side if it hurts. So, you're gonna twist, bring it up, dip, back, and down. Nice and controlled. This is not about speed. Dip your hip down, bring it back, and switch. Up. Bring it back and switch. We're working shoulders here. We're working those obliques and those stabilizers. Oh, fun. <laughs> Again, you don't need to use heavy weights for this one. Dip. Back and down. And down. Dip. Back. All right. Oh, so sweats. All right, pronated curls. So palms are facing down for this one. We're really working the forearms. All right, so pronate and then nice and come down. Pronation just means palms are facing down in this situation. Press and back down. Now, if this is too much, you only have one set, go ahead, alternate arms. Or you can drop the weight, use the other weights. Nice and controlled. Using my breath, really feeling it in the forearms, which is exactly where we want it, so I'm happy. <laughs> After this, we're gonna need one weight. I'm gonna stick with these 15s. Okay, so drop one weight, shake it out, get the other. All right, single leg squat with a press. This one is different from the deadlift. So have it in your right hand, stabilize your left leg, sink it straight down, bending the knee come up and press. This is nice and controlled. So again, this is different from a deadlift because we're working the quads instead of those hamstrings. Mainly, so remember deadlift, you're doing straight. First squat, you're sinking down all the way, bending that knee. Oh yeah, sinking it down. 10 seconds, woo! Find your balance, five, Four, three, two, one. Okay. So before we go to the other side, we're going to be stabilized on the same leg. We have D-pad hops. I'm going to um, keep the weight. So you're just moving like a controller D-pad. So up, down, left, right. Up, down, left, right. Now, if that's too much thinking, just hop four times in place. Take a break if you need to. Or just keep hopping on one foot. Up, down, left, right. It's like a code, some kind of cheat code. I'm working to the main boss, the final battle. Okay, keep going. What's your guys' favorite video game? Mine is Chrono Trigger, ever since I was a wee little girl. Keep going, ah, uh, three, two, one. That should have gotten your calf. And if it didn't, you're a freak. <laughs> Okay, we're the other side. So, dumbbell on the other hand, stabilize on the other leg. Okay. Sink it down, come up, press. Now, if any of you are coming from vacation, I just want to let you know that I am struggling. I just came from vacation. Even though we stayed active every day, it's hard to get back into it. Don't beat yourself up. Just keep going. Just keep fighting. Just keep swimming. <laughs> That's all that matters. You'll get back into the swing of things, even though it's tough right now. Keep going. Three, two, one. Okay. Again, stabilizing on that leg. We are doing those deep pad hops. Yay. <laughs> okay, grab that weight. Yay! Let's do it. Up, down, left. something else. Just think about lines. Lines are great. Going to the zoo makes me sad. They all look so sad, except for the one in Japan. I went to Ueno Zoo, and they gave a really great big grazing area for all the lions. And they seemed way happier. They weren't like dying on a rock. Because we all know that. When we go to the zoo, we see that. It's so sad. Okay, 
Okay, keep going. Three, two, one. Did I distract you? Cool. <laughs> All right, dumbbell crunch with a twist. Grab one of the weights. All right, so have your feet planted. Dumbbell up, crunch it up, twist, back, and down. Crunch it up, twist, back, and down. If it's too much to have it up there, you can keep the dumbbell here. Twist, back, down. Do whatever's comfortable for you. Um, if this is too much though, you can even just pulse it. Small pulses up. Just make sure you're pressing belly button into the floor. Press it up, back. A little twisty twist. Twist. Yay! Twist. Okay. Yeah. Nice up. Dumbbell and shins. Oh, yay. Okay. So I'm going to place this dumbbell on my shins. If you can't do that, you can go without. All you're going to do, elevated penguins. So you're twisting side to side, like the Ariana Grande song. <laughs> side, side, side. Reach for the outside of those heels. But remember, if you want to, for also a modification, just stick with regular penguins. We want to get those obliques right now. So you can tap the inner part, tucking the chin and the chest. I would set up the shin thing again, but it takes too much time. So I'm just going to finish out here. All right. Woo, we're almost done, guys. We got two more. So, side and punch. Oh, yay. OK. Place your dumbbell facing up. If you can't do that, no big deal. Balancing act. So, have your hands in back. Angle your body to one hip. Extend, crunch, extend, hover. Crunch, extend. Rainbow. And rainbow. We have rainbows in the sky. Yay. Just a little bit of rainbow for you. Yeah. Keep going, guys. Crunch, hover, crunch. Oh, I only have one more move after this. Stay tuned. <laughs> Keep going. Okay. Next up, high crunch, side lunge. Okay, so we don't need a dumbbell. All we're gonna do, have your feet out. You're gonna crunch up, reach in, and then side punch. Side punch, little twist. Bring your feet back down. Bring them up. Reach. Side punch. Side punch. If that's too much, you can go ahead. Keep your feet planted just like before. Reach up. Come down halfway. Punch, punch, and then bring it back down. Okay? So that's always an option if the other original move is too intense for you. That's totally fine. Yeah. Do whatever you can do. Reach. Uh. <laughs> Woo! Done! Done! We are stretching. Or you can click the I and go to another workout. Or you can repeat this workout totally up to you. Either way, please do like this video before you go. Um, it really helps me out if you would share this with your friends, your family, Facebook, Twitter, uh, whatever. I don't know. It'd be great. Uh, I want to help as many people as possible. Let's get to 5K subscribers. That would be freaking amazing. Let's do it in a month. Ugh, let's be ambitious. Um, but if not, then go ahead and let's do cool down, you guys. Let's cool down nice and easy. We did work arms a lot today. So let's go ahead, left arm across the body and pull. Look over that left shoulder. Whew. And just breathe. Yay, that was fun. It's good to get back the hang of it. Go ahead, shake it out. Let's get to the other side. Breathe. I think my favorite move today was the bicep curl combo where we did curls and then curl jacks. That was fun. Shake it up. Go ahead and get those triceps. Elbow up and back. Pull. Get the backs of the arms. We worked them. We did those chair poses in chaturanga, even in triangle, and push ups, especially. So shake it out. Let's get the other side. Whew. Yay! So go ahead, you can leave a comment below and let me know what was your favorite move today. Shake it out. 
Let's go ahead, do a little mudra from yoga. So have your palms clasped together. If you can't do that, you can just do it there. And pull down, and then bring your arm um, eyes to the ceiling and relax your neck. Feel this pull in your shoulders, chest. Go ahead, shake it out. Nice job. Let's have those feet wider than hip width apart. And go ahead, sink it down. Relax your neck. Widen out those feet as much as you can without too much strain. And just relax here. Just breathe. Breathing's good. Walk it over to the right side, relax your neck. Keep breathing. Bring it back to center. Over to the other side. And bring it back to center. Nice job. Let's heel toe it back. And go ahead. Um, have your feet about hip width. Grab your elbows, relax your neck, move side to side from the hips. Breathe. And bring it back to center. Drop the arms, slowly roll it up. Four, three, two, and one. Go ahead, roll the shoulders. All right, let's go ahead and if you have a wall, that'd be freaking awesome. If you don't, then I don't know where you are. Um, go ahead, bring your hand to the wall, um, press into it, and then turn and look the other way. Should be stretching out your chest, close your shoulders. Go ahead, switch. Push into it, look the other way. I know one subscriber said they worked out in the rain, and I thought that was so cool. That was awesome. Almost there, let's get those quads. So, go ahead, stabilize, pull. Again, if you need a wall, use that, or a friend, or a chair, or a dog. They're good, they don't need. <laughs> go ahead, shake it up, other side. Almost there, ah. ah! Shake it out, let's get those hamstrings. So, have those feet together, and come on down, relax the neck. Come down as much as possible. Now, if you can, you can grab Back of the calves, hold. Bend the knees slightly if you need to. And now bend the knees even more. Clasp those elbows. Tuck their chin and chest and pull up around. You should feel this in your shoulder blades. Relax your knee. Slowly bring it down. Straighten out those legs and roll it up one vertebrae at a time. Don't rush this, otherwise you might get is the black out and I don't want that. All right, gosh, shake it out. Last one, guys. Clasp the hands in front. Pull the shoulders in. Big inhale. And exhale. Woo! We are done for today. Yay! We did it. You guys did it. We completed our crazy, awesome 30-minute full body dumbbell hit for today. So thank you guys so much again for joining me. Please do like this video before you go. Thank you. And also, uh, don't forget to pet the kitty to subscribe for more awesome workouts with me every Monday. And don't forget to share this with your friends and your family. That would be amazing. As you can see, I'm really, really glistening today. Shining, shimmering, splendid, all right here. Um, that's really fun. So hopefully you are too, yes. All right, so I will see you guys soon. Follow me on Instagram if you wanna see all the cool things, uh, all the selfies, and uh, some of my Europe trip, and uh, yeah. See you soon! Roar.